What you reading there, a book? Yeah, I've been meaning to get to it for a while. Oh, it's got a map at the beginning. I like it when books do that. Mm-hmm. Did you have an open house this morning? I rescheduled. Thought you might like some company. Ugh. <sighs> Well, the first day of school can be tough for stay-at-home moms. Now, you have to understand, the kids are gone, the nest is empty, they are rudderless. And a lot of guys wouldn't even notice. But I'm not a lot of guys. I listen with my mind. And if you pay attention, women will tell you what they want by telling you the opposite of what they want. Like the other day, Claire was like, you have to move your car. There's no space in the garage for both of our cars. And what she's really saying is that you know, I should probably get a sports car. I was sort of looking forward to a quiet day. I thought I'd just read, maybe go for a run later. Well, that's it. Great. We'll run together. You don't have to do that. I know. Listening. The thing is, I like to run alone, and I run kind of fast, so... So... So I'm not sure you're going to be able to keep up with me. <laughs> you're kidding, right? No. You really think I can't keep up with you? I'm not sure you can keep up with this conversation. I think you're forgetting that I power walk every morning and that I wear my special shoes with the big soles, which were designed by a doctor. Yes, I know. But I run every day. You really think you can run as fast as me? No, Phil, I think I can run much, much faster than you. Just like that, the whole day changed. It was game on. She knew it, I knew it, we both knew it. I just wanna read. I always take the stairs two at a time. I don't even think about it anymore. The regular way would seem weird. Phil, let it go, I'm faster than you. If only there was some way we could settle this once and for all, but how? Huh. You seriously wanna race me? I ran a half marathon last year. Well. I'm half scared. OK, we do need to do this. I'll go change. Not now. I got a conference call. But how about after that? Great, this afternoon. Sweet. Two at a time, two at a time, two at a time. We got to fix that step. Two at a time, already at the top, so. What? I didn't say anything. Couldn't hear you. I'm cranking one of my mashups. Ah. Oh. Hey, hey, there they are. How's the first day back in prison? Fine. <laughs> What are you guys doing? Your mom and I are racing to the mailbox in Sequoia and back. Why? I don't know. Oh, she knows. <laughs> hey, buddy, as soon as I'm done kicking a little mom butt here, how about I school you in some Mario Kart? I can't. Gotta work on my journal. Lame! Hey, uh, Alex, you? Uh, I have a history paper. Well, if you want to see a little history being made right here... Not really. Okay. Ready? Are you? I was born ready. I came out of the womb wearing tiny little Go. golden wings. I run five miles a day. There is no way I'm going to lose a two-mile race to Johnny's ski pole. You're saving my energy. Drafting off of you. You feeling cocky? Yeah, I am. <laughs> Love it. But after seeing that T-shirt, I realized something. The first day of school is tough on all my kids, especially the one I married. Boop, boop, boop. Afterburner's engaged. Ooh, don't choke him a smoke. And down the stretch he goes. I don't believe it. Daddy wins. Do you believe in miracles? USA, USA. Oh, no. What was that? Was that a person? I'm good. A... Dad? I'm good. Honey, you okay? I'm good. Okay? Woo! You're getting better, sweetheart. Did I lose the race to make him feel better? Maybe. But it just seemed like he could use a win today.